Professor Kirill Horoshonkov from Bradford University is the winner of the Brian Mercer Award for Innovation in the Built Environment. He has developed a novel acoustic technique for analyzing underground sewer pipes that could help provide sustainable urban water services in the 21st century. The sewerage system of Great Britain started to be built in Victorian times. We're still building it today. Um, about 15% of the system that we have uh, predates the First World War. About a third of it predates the Second World War. So we're still using pipes that are now very old. The existing techniques which are used to survey the sewer networks, they're quite slow and uh, subjective. So as a result, the water industry uh, demands to uh, improve their knowledge of the sewer network and uh, looking for alternative ways which are more rapid and uh, reliable. The sewer system in the UK is, you know, has hundreds of thousands of kilometres of pipes. It's a huge system. Uh, currently, because of the size of the system, uh, the only methods that water companies are able to use at the moment are basically pushing a video camera along a pipe on a small trolley. Horoshonkov and his team's device is called Sewerbat. It's a system that uses sound to gather information about the condition of the pipes, similar to the way that bats use sound waves to navigate and hunt in the dark. The sensor which goes into the sewer pipe is connected via coaxial cable to the electronics block. And this block is integrated into a tablet laptop, which is held by the operator. It takes approximately 20, 30 seconds to take uh, the reading uh, of, of the condition of the sewer. a system that transmits a wave, the reflected wave is then collected and the clever part comes in the analysis of the collected wave and from that analysis you can gather a lot of information about the condition within a sewer. It will pick up cracks of maybe only a few millimetres in thickness. One of the great advantages of sewer bat is it can locate these defects to within an accuracy of a few centimetres in a sewer pipe that may be tens of metres long. The advantages that sewer bat will bring compared to closed circuit television survey is that it will be um, quite inexpensive to carry out so that more of the system can be surveyed more often. It will give us objective results, which means that we, we won't suffer from the subjectivity of an operator having to interpret the signals. And that means that when we're looking for changes over time, quite small deteriorations over time, we should be able to detect those quite reliably. The SOBAT project is a good example on, on how university research can be developed to, to tackle those real-life commercial problems. So we, we've taken our expertise, applied it to a real-life problem and then worked with industry to develop a solution which uh, closely matches their, their requirements. We've had numerous discussions with water companies and we've kept them appraised of developments as they've gone on. They've always expressed great interest, they fully appreciate the need for the system but their reaction is usually, come and tell us when you've got something to show us. The Brian Mercer Award will enable us to produce prototypes that we can do just that with. We can take them to the companies, we can put them to work for the companies. They will then be able to see the benefits and then we believe that they will invest in the service. The technology has a worldwide potential. Uh, our focus has been in, in, in the UK, but there's clearly an application that this, this problem is, is worldwide and the technology can provide a solution to that, uh, that, that problem.